Hey folks, what's poppin'? It's your boy BQ here with the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. Quick reminder, if you haven't followed the Impact Lounge on Instagram, please do so. Would love to have your support on the IG. Question for you guys today. Uh, Heath Slater, I believe Heath Miller is his real name, heavily linked to Impact Wrestling. There's rumors that he could potentially be showing up at Slammiversary. They've teased it on uh, television a little bit. So the rumors are there. Now, I, I do want to put out that, you know, that uh, it was pretty genius for Impact to, maybe it was by chance, I don't know. I think it was uh, done on purpose, but for Slamversary to come the same day that these guys, all their contracts are, you know, coming up with WWE. So really genius sh shit right there. But just because someone gets on social media and is like, hey, July 18, July 18, doesn't necessarily mean that they're coming to Impact. But Heath Slater is one that, the rumor mill has been linking him to Impact Wrestling. Now, uh, before I kind of get into my question regarding that to you guys, it's uh, being reported today's Monday, right? That he should be, that he's going to be appearing on Monday Night Raw tonight. So even though he's in, he's he's released from the company, he's within his 90 day no compete clause and they can still utilize him uh, if they see fit in that amount of time. So it's being said he will be on Monday Night Raw tonight in one way shape or form they're even even alluding to the fact that wwe may try to give him an offer a contract offer while he's there tonight so i don't really know what we're gonna expect with that but if he you know does something today some kind of minor role tonight and he does end up at slam anniversary do you guys think that he is a good fit with impact wrestling and where they're going now he wasn't someone who i initially thought would end up in impact because i think he has a pretty good relationship with cody but you know aw can't sign everybody and the writing would be on the wall for him that he'd probably go there and still be in that mid card you know and he is a guy hey if he came to impact he'd probably be in the world title picture on the main event scene in one way shape or form obviously uh he kind of was a comedy character in WWE for the most part. And as a matter of fact, the last episode of WWE I ever watched was the one with the segment with Brock Lesnar at birth, the whole I got kids thing. So that was actually the last thing I'd ever seen. I thought that was actually a pretty cool segment. But, you know, he's one of those guys. He has a cult following. And I've been saying that Impact does need a few of those guys. Like if uh, I don't think Matt Cardona will come over, but if they land Brian Myers, he's got a little bit of a cult following. Not like Heath Slater, but I do think Impact has to sign some of those guys that just got those followings. I thought Aaron Rexo was going to be that be that for them several years ago, but you know, oddly enough, a lot of WWE fans turned on him when uh, he came over to Impact. So that and then he's a whole different story uh, that I think I want to get into again here on the channel pretty soon. But, you know, do you think that Heath Slater, Heath Miller would be a good fit for Impact? You know, I can remember back to his, uh, what was that group's name? Uh, the one with Wade Barrett. I forgot their name. Uh, whatever that group was. And then uh, the core, you know, I remember back then when he was more of a serious character. And, you know, it worked, you know, and then he became the 3MB thing after that. The one man band and all that. But. You know, do you think he would be a good fit for Impact? Could you see him being packaged in a way that uh, could, you know, kind of capitalize on, uh, you know, his fame, his success, but still repackage him? Because I'm going to go back to the Aaron Rex thing. He did have all eyes on him. I mean, that night in the Impact Zone, there was more people there. They were loud. More people watched the show. It was a big debut. But Impact did get away from what worked with him and try to repackage him as a totally different character, you know, much much like they do with EC3, and I'm not comparing the two of them, but, you know, I think that was a mistake in hindsight that they did. You know, I'm not saying bringing him as a comedy character, but when you bring in guys, sometimes there has to be some kind of essence. There's gotta be something that reminds you of, you know, their past success. You know, you can't, you can't repackage them too much to where they're just a complete different wrestler and now they're boring. And that's what happened with uh, Rex. So what do you guys think? You know, he may show up at Monday Night Raw tonight. But what do you guys think? Was, is he a good fit for Impact? You know, do you agree with me to where, you know, a guy with a cult following, you know, they 
Impact needs to sign a couple guys like that. I think uh, Anderson Gallows falls into that category too because those kind of guys are going to still put some butts on seats. I think Slater would kill it on the independent scene as a, a draw and just selling merch and just making money. So um, hopefully he believes in himself and takes it to that that next level and instead of just kind of you know falling back by the wayside, maybe taking a undervalued WWE offer. Who knows? So let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.